I am so close. Oh, pray for me, mother, father. Superman's real name is Peter yeah. Sparker. Well, Everybody knows that. Fairbag. <laughs> Dude, my, my little nephew, when I visited him, uh, my mom was like tucking them in. And like, my, my, my smallest nephew, he's like two. So he like barely speaks. But like, she was tucking in the other one. The other one's asleep. And then she turns and he's just standing in his crib. Like, Eyes open, looking right at her in the darkness, and he just says, like, deadly serious, Fighter Man's real name is Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. Yeah. The children really do have clarity on the world. Fighter Man. <laughs> Fighter Man. Why isn't there a superhero named Fighter Man? I know. I don't know if he spells it F I D E R or F I G H. -E I like to think it's F-I-D-E-R. Uh, fighter man. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Don't let me interrupt your gentle slumber. They've really shot up, too. They shot up like when my dad used to wake me up for school. He's like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive! <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, neither do I. Mostly because of this music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Uh-huh. Oh, God, it's so catchy. And all this is because my fucking dad decided to go on a bender and destroy the fucking universe. Who, Lloyd? <laughs> no, the king of all gods. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you meant your real dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dad went on a bender and destroyed the universe. Yeah. <laughs> he played guitar way too hard. Oh, my dad, by the way, is all into Game Grumps now. Really? Yeah, because he saw the footage of, like, us at MAGFest. Yeah. And he saw, like, the panel and, like... All the people there and that like made it real for him like what's been going on in my oh, life nice so now he's like done i'm so excited <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> i'm so excited yeah uh it, it, the best is when like because don is the israeli pronunciation of dan um that's just how they say a's there but like sometimes he'll try to be more American than he actually is, so he'll try, like, to force himself to say Dan. Uh-huh. But it'll come out, like, really forced. It'll be like, Hi, Dan! <laughs> like, <laughs> Avi, there's not a Y in my name, like... <laughs> Dan! Dan! D-A-Y-A-N. Aw, oh, that's sweet, though. Yeah, he's he's the best. So, is he? So, yeah, I'm Are a fan of Avi. I don't know, man. Uh, Bruce Springsteen's pretty fucking cool. Well, they're both... They both live in New Jersey. Oh shit. Yeah. Ha my question was, have you ever been caught jacking off? No. No? I wa- uh, my- Me neither, My, my dad. dad walked in on me watching lesbian porn, <laughs> which I never watched. Really? I would- it was just like, I did the happenstance where it was like, that girl's hot and that girl's hot. Yeah, what's cool. the problem? <laughs> so, I just like was watching it. I didn't even have like- I wasn't even like- like, my pants weren't unzipped or anything, I right. just- I just was, like, watching it, just cause I was curious, yeah. I guess. And my dad walked in and was like, Oh, no, oh, alright, okay, alright. And I- <laughs> That's such a parent move, like, Oh, whoa, oh, well, uh, it's natural! It's like, oh, you've just made this a thousand times more awkward than it would have been. But for some reason, like, I was such a puss back then, mm -hmm. but, like, for some reason, that was the thing that made me, like, man up. And I was just like, I gotta, I gotta talk to my dad about this. I got it. Like so, like immediately afterwards, I like got up and went to the office, and I was like, Dad, tell me about sex. This is, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's really weird for me too. Like I, I don't know. Wow, no I way. I don't know. And he was like, Dude, I don't even care. And I was like, I, I was stop, like, just stop talking. Yeah, I was like, All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it, that was that. Yeah, your dad's cool as shit. <laughs> like clear your cache on your computer, or yeah, else yeah, your yeah. dad's gonna find out that you were watching lesbian porno. <laughs> clear your cache. Which is boring point. Or your dad will know you are using lesbian power. Fuck. Porn pornography. I think I remember my. So my dad walked on. Dot walked in on me once watching porn. Uh huh. And it was lesbian porn. Uh huh. And I think I remember him saying that. He was like, "It's okay, but lesbian porn so boring." Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lloyd. And I was like, "All right." Do you, maybe this is too personal, but I mean, what the fuck? Uh. Have you ever been caught jacking off by your parents? No, never. Never? Yeah, I was only just looking at it. Oof, lucky. I know. I know. Lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, so yeah, my dad was in that war. <laughs> you are such a dick. You are such a dick. 
All right, fine, I won't tell you. <laughs> no, no, please. It's a really cute story, but whatever. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. All right. My... Now I'm afraid to start it. No, go ahead. Okay. My dad saw a lot of like fucked up shit in the war, so like, um, as soon as as soon as it was, o it was over, he was like, I don't want to be in Israel anymore. I'm super bummed out and depressed. Yeah. So he had like, it's like that classic like immigrant story. He had like a hundred dollars in his pocket, and he. Uh, flew to America or he took a boat, I can't remember um, and he was going to take a Greyhound bus across the country to LA um, where he like had some friends or family or whatever mm -hmm. but he was only in New York for a day and he was like trying to ride the subway around but he like couldn't figure out the subway because the New York subway is fucking confusing as shit if mm -hmm. you've never done it before so he didn't know where the A train was uh, he was on the he was at Columbus Circle on the 60th Street subway station and uh, he saw a cute girl and he went up to her and he asked her in like broken English. He was like, hey, do you know the way to uh, the A train? And she was like, um, well, yeah, that's actually the train I'm taking. So I'll show you where it is. And that was my mom. Oh, yeah. And like he just like super fell in love with her crazy hard, like, um, instantly and like at the end of the subway ride like when he got to his stop like my dad my dad is like super confident but not at all smooth uh -huh. so like he just like put his he just knew he couldn't let her get away so he put his arm around her arm and he was like we're going to lunch <laughs> and my mom like laughed at him and she was like uh no we're not <laughs> but she was like uh i just came from lunch but here's my number and she was like i'd never given my number to anybody before but i just got a cool vibe from him and uh, and they started dating, and three years later, boom jams, marriage me. Oh damn! Ain't that some crazy shit? Marriage me. Marriage slash me. <laughs> I believe in that order. Wow. That's nuts, dude. Interesting. Yeah, it's crazy too, cause like, it makes me think about like fate and stuff like that. Cause I don't particularly believe in fate, but if you don't believe in fate and you think everything's random. Like, fuck, if, like, one of them had, like, bent down to pick up a nickel and, like, they just missed each other, then I would not exist. Yeah, well, I mean... It's crazy. It only seems like fate when you think backwards. Right. When you're moving forward, it doesn't seem like fate. It's just stuff happens. Yeah, just crazy shit happening nonstop. So... I guess you're right. Did you ever see Porky's? No. That is the... That is a classic 1970s, like, gross-out, girly TNA comedy. I've seen Kentucky Fried Movie. Oh god, that's a classic. I, my dad was Catholic like, high school girls in trouble? That shit's hot. <laughs> my dad was like, I'm gonna show you this movie that I really like from from when I was a teenager. And I was like, cool. And I was like, I was like 12. That's from when he was a teenager? Yeah. Damn. Or something like that. I don't yeah. Know. He, I mean, he was like 20 or something. Yeah, he, he was young, I guess. But <laughs> he fucking he shows it to me, and there's just like, like so many tits in that movie. So many. And he was just like, "Oops, how did I forget this?" That's really funny. <laughs> and he just started fast forwarding like crazy, and I was like, "It's okay, Dad." Oops, how did I forget this? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nothing okay, but man. tits. Oh shit, dude! Check oh shit out! Hey, skull. I gotta use my long shot. Yeah, there's tons of tit scenes in that movie. Yeah. And then, like, later, I, like, found it and played it when everyone was gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a very hot movie. I was like, yes. Yes. Because when they... In, in in that time period... Was it the 70s? Yes. Yeah, so my dad was in his 20s. Um, in that time period, they were all about, like, the big tits. <laughs> were they really? Yeah, man. I don't... All about that in those movies. I was gonna say I don't remember, but I was also not alive. So, there you go. You get a 70s movie that has big boobs, it has boobs in general, they're gonna be fucking huge. Interesting. Yeah, they're just, for some reason, that's what that time era was. That is when about. Dolly Parton got famous, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, I can see that. I've never smoked the Jane. That is amazing to me. And why? Just, it's, I mean, it's just so everywhere. It's like, how do you not accidentally smoke it? Be what? I don't know, just like, <laughs> trip and fall. All, oh, you know what? I don't want to sell out my mom. Oh, oh, damn. Were you just gonna say that your mom does hard drugs? <laughs> no. Like <But> PCP? <laughs> no. Angel dust, as they call it, it's, on the streets? She, she's- Smacko? <laughs> smacko? <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it in- He's on his smacko! Pennsylvania. <laughs> but no, all I was gonna say was my mom, like, 
She, she was not a hard drug user by any means, but like she was a hippie in the 60s and they smoked grass. She's gonna get arrested now. Oh, okay. That's I can not hear likely. the sirens right now. That's not likely. Hear the sirens. <laughs> hear the sirens. But all of my mom's drug stories will be like, yeah, I just accidentally got high. Like, I was just at a, at a party and like, I thought it was a cigarette and, and it was it was weed. It was laced with, it was laced with Mary Jane. <laughs> And then I was walking home and I tripped and I fell face first into a patch of mushrooms. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. With my mouth wide open and my teeth ready to that, chomp. That's <laughs> <laughs> That second one's not true. My mom never did mushrooms. <laughs> oh my god. That is funny. Oh Th man. Oh god, I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh yeah, Chinese food makes me sick. Uh yeah, so when I was when I was seven, I was listening to Nine Inch Nails. Oh yeah, the, the me fucking too, unedited actually. album version. Yes, <laughs> it's like singing like, while the devil wants to fuck me in the back of his car. Yeah, and like I'm like my grandma's walking in the other room. I'm like, bitch, just gonna turn this down. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember it was like, uh, oh, there was this one moment where like, we were listening to the edited version of it. That was like, I wanna. You like an animal. Oh yeah, then, that's and the then, second album. And then like, I, I guess my parents were like reaching, because they were like, they were like, what do you think that word they left out was? And I was like, it's the F word. And they were like, how do you know that? And I was like, it's the only one that makes sense content contextually. Yeah. And they were like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids are smart, man. <laughs> it's the the funny. I learned a curse from my dad, um, because I'm actually like a huge football fan, like. People always think I'm like Ross and everything is just like sport ball. Like, no, mm -hmm. I like sport ball. Yeah. No, but like, I fucking love football. And uh, my earliest memories when I was like four is of watching uh, the Giants games, the New York Giants games with my dad. And uh, so, like, I love that team, but like, they were also terrible when I was a really young kid. So, my dad would like, get pissed and he'd try not to curse. He'd try to catch himself. <laughs> so like the Giants would blow it and he'd be like, Oh shucks. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. It was the best. <laughs> oh fun. <laughs> that was the, so good. Oh, that kind of reminds me of this this is like my stuff my dad would always do. We had this um we had this like laundry basketball hoop uh -huh. in our in our in our room. So like you throw away laundry, you throw it in the basketball mm -hmm. hoop. Very effective. Um, so <laughs> he would like he would always run into it in the dark because it like jutted out from the door. Right. So he would like put us to bed and he he put us to bed and he'd be like, "Night, boys. See you tomorrow." And then he like he like softly walks out and you just hear like, <laughs> "Damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so great! Like doing prop falls and shit. Yeah. Oh, so great. No, I've never, I've never really gambled. My um, my dad took me to uh, uh, like a horse racing because there were tracks in Jersey. Yeah. Like at the Meadowlands racetrack and stuff. Um, and my dad took me there once when I was like a little kid, and I just was completely picking, um horses based on their names, like mm -hmm. the ones that sounded cool. Yeah. And uh we hit the trifecta. Like Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like I picked just by their names, I, I accidentally picked all three horses. Like my dad like put two dollars on it. So it was something he won like hundred and forty bucks, which actually in the eighties was nothing to fucking sneeze at. And um and I just remember like all the horses crossing the uh the finish line and my dad going, Yes <laughs> and uh my dad was like, do you want to stay and keep going? And I was like, no, we won 147 bucks. And uh, I was so proud and so happy and so happy that my dad was proud um, that I never gambled again. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because I was like, well, I, no, I want, I hit the trifecta that one time. Yeah. It's, it's got to be all downhill from there. It, it kind of is. It's yeah. a little bit, yeah. Because you're like, well, if I did it once, I can do it again. Yeah, I guess all I wanted was my dad to be proud of me. <laughs> Shit. That's all it took, was I, yeah, naming I, a bunch of fucking horses. I stumbled onto a deep psychological need, uh, just and, by and, fucking around when I was eight years old in 1987. And was immediately gratified. Yeah. Good times. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Or like when somebody doesn't know 
how to fucking... Somebody who doesn't know how to use, like, a phone or, like, a phone system very well. Just kind of, you know, it's like... Would you like to accept a call from... The fuck is extra? <laughs> If not, that is press two. totally, totally my dad. <laughs> totally. They, I, like, they, they have not... It hasn't happened in so long with because with cell phones and shit. Right. But, like, when, when he used to call me during college, it would be like, You have a call from... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Do you accept? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know a ha <laughs> or, or like, yeah, or him talking to my mom. <laughs> like, you have a call from, I don't understand how these work, baby. Dad, can you show me how to- Do you accept? <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Oh, that is so fucking funny, I haven't thought of that in a while. Yeah, yeah, dude, I bet there's so much, like, like, 90s ass shit I could think of, like, to make jokes about. Totally. It would be completely irrelevant now. You also just reminded me of, uh, let me see if I can find it. My dad left me a voicemail. Just... Where he, like, comes really strong out of the gate. You know? <laughs> Hi, dad! Yeah, he's just like, Aah! Hold on, let me... <laughs> oh my god, that's exactly what I said! Hi! <laughs> 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 Oh, that's great. That's I, great. I, I've just recently seen a picture of your father. Oh, yeah. He's he's totally awesome, normal, suburban dad yeah, type guy. Yeah, not what I expected. Well, everyone thinks he has, like, long gray hair. My dad looks nothing like me. Um, yeah, yeah. I look more like my mom. Definitely your mom. Yeah. Uh, but my dad... My dad was super, like, handsome uh, back in the 70s. That, that He did have long hair then, and, like... He was, like, just out of the Israeli army, so he was all, like, fucking, like, super cut up. I was like, Jesus, Avi! <laughs> you look fucking awesome! He was like, eh... Yeah, whatever! <laughs> Did I ever play the, um... The voicemail where he told me never to play it on Game Rumps? Yes. <laughs> it's like, I'll kill you! Yes, that is a great one. I'm sure it's in the Dan's Dad compilations. Is it really? Yeah. Hold on, I'm, I'll play it again. Like an hour-long compilations of you... Talking about and also hearing. Hi, <laughs> Granny, Granny Sexton is with me in the car. <laughs> she's in the house. And, That's my mom. Uh, we all want to thank you how much we enjoyed the, the, uh, <laughs> the video. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of luck with it. And uh, if I ever, ever, ever hear myself again on. I'll never call you again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, that's oh, from man. June of last year. Jesus. That's how long I keep these things and treasure them. Oh, because they're beautiful. Avi, it's I like, love it's like you. Art. Yeah, it really is. It, oh god, not this level. My dad does not realize that every time he's about to leave a message on my phone, it's a masterpiece that I will treasure for decades to come. <laughs> if only you could frame voicemails. Oh god. Such a fan of that guy. He's the best. Dude. That's good. Yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Different topic! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Can't Ooh, wait to hear another story do about not your weird care. dad. Yeah, oh man. I remember this one time my dad was... At a, we were at a drive-thru, uh -huh. and then oh, he was God. making small talk with the clerk, uh -huh. and, and he was like, Oh man, r rough day, or something like that, and she was like, tell me about it, and then I was like, Well, uh, you know, I had a day, <laughs> and then my dad was like, stop being such a smartass. And I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> did, were you like, uh, w did you actually know you were being a smartass? No, I just thought I was- You just thought you were helping? Yeah, I was just being funny. Yeah. I mean, so, I, I didn't understand the concept of the, the difference between smartass and just, like, being funny. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of crazy, uh, stupid, um, vocabulary shit. Uh-huh. Um, I went and visited my family. Uh-huh. And my dad gave me some amazing, some, some pearls dropped out of his mouth yeah? <laughs> while I was there. Did you, did you make sure to write them down? You know I did. Um, so he was like, he, 
My dad, as I, I've mentioned before, was initially very skeptical about my life choices uh -huh. and career choices. And as things have worked out, miraculously, just in time after uh, 15 years of not working out, <laughs> um, he's totally come around and he's super into it and he's excited and he, he just, he loves everything about this. So, he wants to learn more about Let's Plays, uh -huh. um, because the concept is still sort of foreign to him. Right. Um, at, <laughs> <laughs> so like he's asking me about like, he's like, I see, I see you have a friend, uh, Mark, and I was like, yeah, Markiplier, he's very cool, like he's he's a buddy of ours, and he's like, what about the the uh, Swedish guy, uh, Pee Wee Didi? <laughs> I'm like, do you mean do you mean PewDiePie? He's like, yeah, it's PewDiePie, <laughs> Pee Wee Didi. <laughs> I was like, Hi guys, my name's Dee Dee. <laughs> they call me Pee Wee Dee Dee. P E E W E E D I D I. Javi, is that what you're trying to say? Oh my god, Pee Wee Dee Dee. You might not, you might not be able to guess why they call me Pee Wee Dee Dee. <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. I'm 3 4. <laughs> but I'm full of spunk. Oh, it's the best. It's just amazing. Like everything he says. And so, like, I, I mean, we we went through some stuff recently and like we all needed a little bit of a break and like um I was certainly like stressed out and so the week at home was super good for me because I just hung out with friends and family and my dad comes in I'm just lying there watching TV and he's like it's nice to have you home and I'm like thank you Avi it's nice to be home and he's like it's really good that you have a nice uh, place that you can come and decompose and like decompose? You mean decompress? <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking <laughs> no. Yeah, where no. you can naturally rot your body away. <laughs> a place where you can die, and then uh, re return to the elements from which you came. <laughs> oh my God! A place where you can decompose. <laughs> a place where you can decompose. Uh, and I was like, I I'm laughing uncontrollably, and he's like. Listen, uh, don't, uh, say this on Game Grumps, <laughs> and I'm like, then stop saying amazing shit all the time! <laughs> I told him straight out, I was like, I have to, I have to share this one. So, do it, Lomster! Yes. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, no, please don't, but secretly he's like, yes! Yeah, but I, you know what, I think that's what it is, yeah. honestly. Cause like, he, cause he's very, he's a very private guy, you know, like, he, he wouldn't want any, like, um, Anyone walking up to him and being like, hey, you're Avi, you know, but he secretly loves like You know being adored online, <laughs> you know, I, I I know he does. Oh spoofy is Oh spoof well cuz he world-renowned yeah when we um I visited my uncle and my grandma and he came with me and uh, he played um He took out his phone and he played the the spoofy animated <laughs> that, uh, that someone did and like he's just smiling so happy the entire time. It's it's great. It's great to That's watch adorable. Yeah, and of course it led to a conversation with my mom and she like my mom like was an editor uh, When she was younger, so she's like a linguist and very like into language So like no one loves the crazy shit my dad says more than she does <laughs> And she's been apparently writing them down for years. Really? Yeah, yeah. No way. And he was trying to say Did like, she, like show like a secret book that had like a lock on it, and no. she's like, "I wanted to share this with you your whole life, Dan." Uh, on the fridge, there was a <laughs> a, a post-it note of something he had said, and, and it was uh, he it, they were talking about something political, and he he's like generally a moderate with like most of his thinking, uh -huh. and so like he meant to say like he was trying to say like extremists aren't. You know the way to go, either mm -hmm. in either direction, and the thing he actually ended up saying was down with extremism. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Extremism. Extremism, baby. Yep, down with it. I'm tired of it. Oh, I love extremism. <laughs> that is something that you and uh, me and your dad were gonna have to disagree on. Yeah, yeah, and me too. Extremism. <laughs> Everybody loves extremism, dude. I say up with extremism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? In fact, we need mandatory extremism sessions. Yeah, exactly. God, I I often think like whenever I'm watching Pee Wee Dee Dee, it's so nice to have a place where I can decompose and just think about my extremism. <laughs> 
That's very extrismistic of you. It's like my dad is just slowly but surely creating his own language. <laughs> he had a good one when, while I was home this past time. Um, he he was like, Dan, uh, where uh, can uh, people buy your music? And I was like, oh, you know, like uh, digitally. Usually people get it digitally, but I mean, with Starbomb, there's also physical copies, and we'll probably do CDs of Ninja Sex Party. And he's like, can uh, can people hear it on uh, Spoofy? <laughs> I'm like, does he mean do, Spotify? Do you Spotify? And he's like, Spoofy. <laughs> So I'm trying not to like laugh and cause him embarrassment. Oh my god, that was it's my favorite. <laughs> Can I do some three lines for me? I'd imagine you could, father. <laughs> if that were a thing. If there were such a thing, Spoofy would be the one place you could go. <laughs> I'm naming my next dog Spoofy. <laughs> We need to come up with a music service called Spoofy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was special. So yeah, that was that was probably my favorite. Uh, <laughs> it's just that that moment of like utter confusion mixed with like, oh god, realization. Like, do you mean Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> Spoofy. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, what on earth is? <laughs> I think bulb. he means Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father, I love you so. Mm. Uh oh, Spaghetti SpaghettiOs. Do, 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 do. Those kind of look like SpaghettiOs. That's a classic commercial of the day. It is. I always think um, of SpaghettiOs when I. My brother. Oh. I once threw up. No, it was my brother. My brother once I threw up. I once threw up too. We had like it a. Was rough. We had like a big like pillow chair or something that had like fur, and my brother just like started. Yakking on it <laughs> when he was really young. That's a nice story. And then I just called my mom and I was like, Mom, 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 Mom. And she was like, What? And I was like, Nate's throwing up. <laughs> 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 like completely unpanicked. Yeah. And then he, we came over and it looked like he was throwing up Cheerios or SpaghettiOs. That's and an amazing story. Now that's all I think of when I think of SpaghettiOs is his vom. <laughs> cool. It's true. I'll remember that always. You had roommates in college, right? I was never in college. Oh, near it? Oh, no way! Yeah. How did you like that? Uh, it was really nice. Yeah? I didn't even finish high school. <laughs> no shit! Yeah. You're a high school dropout? Yeah. Oh, Aaron, am I fucking hanging out with a bad kid? <laughs> <laughs> a bad kid? Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Nice! <laughs> Um, yeah. Nah, it's okay. I, I thought college was kind of meh. It's funny, because, like, I... Technically, I didn't drop out. Like, my parents dropped me out. You got dropped out? Yeah. So, like, what happened was, um... On my first day of sophomore year... Uh-huh. I, uh... I went into school, and they didn't have a curriculum for me. Right. And... Whoa. I was like, why don't we, uh... And I spent the whole day, like, sitting in the, like, library office. Yes. And, um, they were like, oh, so, I guess what happened was you- well, holy crap. <laughs> I just remembered those two, but that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. I think it's- I think it's this one. Oh, yeah. snap, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, this I don't know anymore. Nope. So, um, I, I spent the, the whole first day just sitting in an office, like, waiting for somebody to give me some fucking thing to do. Right. And then, eventually, like, at the end of the day, they were just like, Oh, you got- you got transferred to another school because you moved, and you're not in our district anymore. And I got transferred to, like, an F school. Say what? Like a- like a- like a bad kid's school. That's crazy, Because I, I moved to, like, the middle of nowhere, instead of, like, the really well-to-do area that I was in before. Right. Which, by the way, Damn it. we were not well-to-do, we just lived there for R some reason. Right. And I don't know- uh, anyway. Um, so... I was not in the good school anymore, I was in the bad school. Fuck. So, I- my mom picked me up and she was like, furious. 
And <laughs> she was like, oh, I can't believe, oh, and she like, I think she made a couple calls that were like, why can't my son go to the fucking good school really? he's been going to for like four years? Was she pissed? Yeah. Was she like super pissed? Yeah, she was mom pissed. Nice. And I was just kind of like kicking rocks in the corner. Right, right. And then eventually she was just like, have you, have you even learned anything in, in high school for like the, the two years you've been in it? Whoa. Uh, yeah, that whole thing is just like, don't oh, even bother shit. with it. Actually, you should make a platform. Really? Yeah, so you can like, jump across. Um, she was like, have you even learned anything in the two years you've been in high school? And I was like, nah, not really. I haven't really retained anything. And she was like, you're not gonna be a fucking mathematician. <laughs> just, just, just get your GED. And I was wow. like, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's Does that crazy. mean no more high school? And she was like, yeah, no more high school. And I was like... <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> so... That's nuts! Yeah, that's what happened. And then I got my GED, which was the easiest fucking test I've ever taken in my life. Can I come up with my own canon for how that happened? Okay. I like to imagine that your mom, who uh, has a stable of horses, rode up on horseback and was like, get my son out of this school. <laughs> and then your dad, like, as soon as you were walking, your dad, like, took up the bass guitar and played you off. Like, GD. That's exactly how it happened. Awesome. It's actually kind of close to that, because, like, right after school, mom had to go tend to her horses. Right. And, uh, and so I was, like, standing around in some, like, dirt pile. Kicking rocks. That's why I was kicking rocks. Whoa! Because that was the only thing I had to do. You were just a bad rock-kicking kid. Yeah, dude. Awesome. I was nothing but rock kicks. Next time on Game Grumps, we fucking hang out and smoke in front of the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> While we're sailing, do you want me to tell you more stories of my family? Uh, why wouldn't I? Cool. I can tell you how my grandparents met. How's that? Uh, so my grandma who you could actually see for a second in the Ninja Sex Party if we were gay video. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's in there for a second. She, my grandma's awesome. Oh, that's right, when it zooms out, yep. when you're the baby. Yeah, and it yeah. actually points to her, like, Danny's grandma. Um, she's cool as shit. She's one of my best friends, actually. And uh, her husband, uh, my granddad, he was the fucking man. He was so cool. Um, he was actually super instrumental in uh, inventing the electrocardiogram. What's a cardiogram? That is the thing that registers electrodes attached to your body in the hospital and it registers your heart. It's like beep, beep, oh. beep. Yeah, yeah, he was he was one of the dudes that invented that shit. Oh man, so he's he is a major proponent in the iconic sound of somebody dying in a movie? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. It's insane. And like actually when he was really sick, like he was uh, hooked up to that and I was like, do you realize how crazy this is, Pop? Like this is what you created. He's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> he, was, he was super chill and humble. Wow. Um, but he was, so when he uh, invented that, he went on like the Johnny Carson show and like a bunch of other, uh, Johnny Carson, for those who don't know, was like the David Letterman and Jay Leno of like the 50s and the 60s and all the way up to the 80s and I think early 90s. Johnny Carson. Yeah, oh, really good show. Yeah, oh, nope, that's Ed Sullivan. Never mind. Point is, uh, he was making this tour uh, of like colleges um, so he could like discuss with other scientists and give seminars on how to work the cardiogram. And my grandma was also a scientist. She was younger though, she was like 20. And um, she, uh, she worked with rats and stuff. And, um, and he was in her lab like just chatting with another guy, like another scientist. And that was the 40s when like smoking was Totally encouraged at all times. Totally oh, cool yeah. to smoke anywhere. So he's smoking a cigarette and hanging out, and my grandma comes up to him, and she's like, you better not leave one ash on this table in this laboratory. And, like, and she walks away, and my granddad like looked at the guy next to him and was like, man, whoever gets this one is in trouble. <laughs> like, like, she is a ball buster. And then uh, I guess they talked more, and two weeks later they were engaged. Wow. Yeah, he was like 28, I think, and she was 20, and um, and they were married for like 63 years. Wow. Isn't that insane? Jeez, 63. 63 years beats my record by 61 and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking insane. Why does this song have to be so fucking long? Yeah, God, it's like Inagata DeVita. It's almost as long as your grandparents' marriage. I know! <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome.
awesome. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that crazy? They they like my family's just like passionate people. <clears throat> Yeah, man. They just fall in love and they fall hard. Yeah, I mean, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm passionate. I'm just passionate about a lot of different <laughs> girls. Pull it I, I remember, uh... Just gonna mash. Oh, boy, you're My favorite. mom was a teacher at the elementary school I went to, and, uh, there was this weird kid, and he drew comics with his friend, and I remember they drew SpongeBob and Patrick with their penises out. Yeah? And my mom saw them looking at it, and she goes, Bring that here! And the kid ran across the hall and, like, grabbed it as fast as he could. My mom snatched it from him, and then he had to go to the, uh, principal's office. How? How? It's not <laughs> fair! It's not what fair! What the fuck?! We're incredible. I was never an amazing photo taker. I I love taking photos. I know you're very good at it. Like some people have an eye for it. I I don't quite have that. Um, <laughs> the first time I ever tried to take pictures, I was like, uh, I think I was like seven years old, and it was like one of those disposable CVS cameras, which they still sell somehow. I'm like amazed that they still exist. Um, but I just didn't know. I didn't know that if you push the button on the camera, like that does all the work. Like, I sort of thought you had to push it down hard, and as a result, like, the camera would, like, move down, like, while I was taking the picture. Like, I, I was, like, bringing it with my hands. And, uh, so I have an entire roll of film from the 80s, uh, of my family, and no one has heads. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it, my mom still laughs about it when I, when I, when I show her one. That's bizarre, dude. Well, yeah, just because, like, I didn't, I kept, like, pulling the camera down when I take the shot. That is super interesting. It, it was just really dumb. Huh. My dad was like, I wasted ten dollars! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Still laments over it to this day. Yeah. I, it was ten eighties dollars. They were very much more expensive. <laughs> Those are like fifteen dollars now. <laughs> Sorry, Avi. He's wiggling his butt. He's like, no, don't grab oh, my teeth. Please teal. don't send me yeah, right into the fucking water. Yeah, there you go. Into the water. You, like, you cool off! Oh, That's like... like that's like something your dad yells at you. <laughs> Go in the water and cool off, okay? Yeah. You I'm sick of your shit. You take five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take five minutes, dad? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being facetious. You're the angry one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> my dad, uh, my dad never hit me, but he could yell. He, he could yell. And, uh, there, there would be times like that where he'd just be like, uh-huh. Oh man, I can't think of a good one. But he used to yell shit at me all the time, and I just, I just be like, whatever, and like pretend to like not be mad, but I was super mad. <laughs> you mean when he would like tell you to do stuff? Yeah, yeah, and, and like he'd be like, stay in your room, and you're like, I don't even care. Yeah, I wanted to stay in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a problem with that notion! Go and I have my video games in here! I'll just play my video games! Fine then! Fine! It's <laughs> joy! <laughs> yeah, and like later, like half an hour later, everything would calm down. Well, he'd calm down. I'd still be hot and he'd be like, Dan, have you calmed down? And I'm like, YES! <laughs> <laughs> yep, fine! Everything's good! <laughs> I'm not crying! <laughs> Somebody put tears on my pillow! <laughs> That's what I'm actually mad about! <laughs> Who put all these tears here? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. God, we've all been there, man. Oh my god, I- God, I- It's weird. Like, thinking back to, like, having those tantrums. It's so- it's so weird, because, like... It's so beyond what you would do now. Yeah, yeah. Like, now I would just, like, seethe and kill someone at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> now I wouldn't scream, I'd just- I'd just, uh... See, what I like to do now as an adult is take all that anger and frustration Push it down deep inside of me until it becomes a seething white core of pure hate. <laughs> and then just one day I let it explode on someone who doesn't deserve it. I'll just drive it towards my index finger while holding a handgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny.
when I come home, my dad gets all excited. And so, like, he'll, like, he'll, I'll be, I'll talk to him for, like, 45 minutes or an hour when I get home. And then I'm like, uh, alright, I'm gonna go lie down now, because, you know, just had a cross-country flight. He's like, okay! And then, uh, I go in there, and, like, 30 seconds later, he comes in, Hey, Dan! Uh, I thought of something! <laughs> like, oh, five more times, at least, with that. <laughs> I like, thought of something! Yeah, in... in Turkey burger. Yeah, or he won't. Like or he won't even qualify it with "I thought of something." He's just like, like, like our first conversation never happened. It's like, hey, Dan, uh, the soccer game's on tonight. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. I'm like, close the door. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, 45 seconds go by. Hey, hey, Dan. Oh, it's so, it's so sweet. You're fine. You know what? Just, just use this tr time to follow him and see where you're supposed to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and then try to take take him over at the very end. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. You know me and. Or you could do a triple half gainer <laughs> off the fucking <laughs> side of. God damn. Ooh. All right. Oh, you fucking bad. Just makes me have puffy puffy red cheeks when I hear that. He story. is the sweetest. <laughs> hey Dan. Hey Dan. He also like. I imagine it's not very adorable when you're fucking there trying to get some sleep. Super tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to it, and it's... It was more annoying when I was a teenager, and I was like, Ugh, leave me alone, ugh. Now I'm like... You've never given me space. Yeah. Even though you've given me food and shelter for the last 18 years. Yeah, exactly. And now I just, and now I just love him, so I'm like, alright. It's funny, because he'll come into the room, and I'm just like, well, there's one. And, like, I just count every time. <laughs> alright, so I promised you guys a voicemail from my dad. Uh-huh. Um, here goes. He wanted to congratulate me on, uh, getting five million hits on Luigi's Ballad. Which is very exciting for him. Wait, Luigi's Ballad has five million hits? Yeah, isn't that crazy? You fucking serious? Yeah, my, well, I, like, we don't check it the way my, our parents do, you know, like. Wait, you're not fucking with me. Yeah, Luigi's no, it's, it's, literally it's, yeah, has it's, five million it's over hits. five million, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Isn't that cool? Holy crap! I know, thank you, everybody. That's a lot of hits! I know, but it's, it's like, it's a dream come true. Especially for my dad. He's like, five million hits! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, Dan. Your dad, uh, I want to congratulate you on breaking the five million hits on YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> enjoy mom. I'm freezing my ass off with, uh, Roxy here. <laughs> Never stop the uh, snow. <laughs> so I love you and uh, call me when you can. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, he sounds exactly like your impression of him. Oh, dude, I fucking. <laughs> and. I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> the snow. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh. Uh, Okay, congratulations on five million hits. <laughs> it's like fucking Ren. Ren it's the best. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do my Ren voice. I want Abby. I want Avi. Oh my God, are you serious? I love him so much. That's. I don't think he's ever seen Stranger Things, but my mom has, and she friggin' loves you. I want to talk to your mom. You want? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Slow your roll there, buddy. Yo, yo. <laughs> no, not like that. I want to talk to your mom. <laughs> That's very good. This summer, <laughs> your mom <laughs> coming. You gotta. What the fuck is going uh, on? Hey, I mean, does somebody? Oh, that's why it's called tag team racing. This summer. <laughs> Finn Wolfhard is dating your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and things are getting serious. <laughs> Finn, please don't date my mom. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> summer. A woman has to give birth, and it won't be pretty. <laughs> I see the head! <laughs> it's never pretty! <laughs> <laughs> this summer. <laughs> it's miracle it's of life. Just, it's just a normal birth, and like, yeah. the rest of the trailer is just like, the, the uh, the uncomfortable. Are, yeah, like, like, explaining the little kid's life. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uncomfortably long shot of the entire birth process. Have they, this <laughs> summer, have they giving actually, birth. Dude, you're actually the exact age that I was when, like, health class would show those movies, like, like, actual, yeah, like, footage. Yeah, yeah, have I, they, I have you seen those? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, why do they They're do awful. that to us? They're the worst! They're not even good, though. Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> They're not even hot! <laughs>
I don't know when they stopped doing these, but do you remember the it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are things? Mm, uh, I remember that slogan, but I don't yeah, just a every night at 10 on the dot like channels used to run that ad like it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are and like I I would always I mean I was like a fucking nerdy kid that didn't go out and mm -hmm. so like uh, I'd be sitting right next to my parents and my dad would look at me like I've got a good kid, and I'd be I'd be thinking to myself like I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> He's a good kid, that yeah. one. He's all right. I like him. I <laughs> sometimes <laughs> my dad used to t <laughs> my dad used to go to my groups of friends and be like, you know. I don't like you. <laughs> like, you would just say that to my friends, like, as a joke. And, uh, I remember my friend Mark, he used to say, like, You know, Mark, I don't like you, but of all of Dan's friends, I don't like you the least. <laughs> <laughs> he said that? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's my dad's version of dad humor. <laughs> I don't like you the least. It was, Meanwhile, he's, like, permanently scarred for yeah, life. Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, my friends are like, I already don't have my own dad's love. Why do I have to earn yours? <laughs> and then somehow it's like more important. Oh, totally. Yeah, I always hated it when like my friend's parents didn't like me. Oh, yeah, it's a terrible feeling. Because you think when you're a kid, you think adults like just automatically like their opinions matter more. Yeah. Because they're adults and they know what how the world works and all that. And then you become an adult, and you're like, adults are just fucking asshole kids that got bigger. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> not a big deal. Yeah. Um, but it, it's interesting. Yeah, it's weird when I think about, like, I remember I was, like, 21 or something, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I'm still a fucking child. And then I, like, for some reason was, like, in a middle school or, like, an elementary school or something, because I was, like, visiting somebody. Right. And then... <laughs> And then, like, they had tiny desks, and they were just, like, little humans, and I was like, Whoa! <laughs> I'm a giant! Yep, yep. What? Was I this small? It's very strange. It's very strange. And I was, I was that small. Have you ever gone back to, like, your grade school, and you realize, like, how low all the ceilings are, and, like, how small the lockers were? It's fucking mind-blowing. Yes, I do remember that. Like, also in that Kingdom of the Crystal Skull review, where it cuts to a live scene of him uh, jerking off to Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen on his TV and blasting a hole in his television set with his jizz and he's like, I can't stop coming! And I'm like, I can't show this to my dad. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's hard enough showing him NSP. You can. Yeah, well, I guess I suppose, supposedly I, I, I could show it to him because how could he have a problem with jizz? And how could I have a problem with his jizz? I was his jizz. Oh god, don't say that. Isn't that weird to think about? <laughs> yes. You were Lloyd Hansen's oh, jizz, Why'd you have bro? to name him? That's, <laughs> Lloyd. just makes it a thousand times worse. Lloyd's jizz! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you started your existence on this earth! Cool, well... Our buddy Lloyd shot you out of his balls! Isn't that a weird That's day? crazy! Alright, that's great. Sorry. Isn't that weird to think about, though? It's like- And you... then Moret's egg! Okay. <laughs> cool, man. Took that jizz! Yeah. And formed you. Mm hmm But they'd done it before, because your brother was previous jizz. <laughs> God, nature's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and beautiful. <laughs> What a- what a beautiful act ordained by God! <laughs> Creator of the dinosaurs to test our faith. <laughs> oh my god. It's a huge penis. Oh! Wow. What it- it's not nearly as cute as it was. No. He gets really cute later though. He turns into Beedrill. He also learned Harden. Mmm. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even. So my dad would be screaming at me for something, uh -huh. and he'd be like, "Dad, you don't have it!" And like, because he, he, he was. He, it's making me laugh. I know, I know. Because it was the he he was the type of guy that when he would get angry, he would like work himself up. Mm -hmm. He would start. He would start off with like, 
Like he'd be like, Don, did you do that thing I asked you to do yesterday? And I'd be like, no, I didn't. And I had like no excuse. And like he'd slowly like work himself into a lather. So he'd be like, you know this upsets me because you just, you had so much time. You had so much time to do it. You had so much time! Like, and he's like, then he's like losing his mind. And like, it would just, I knew it was coming and there was a pattern to it every time. So I'd just start giggling. I'd be like, here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here <laughs> with this schmuck, I mean, right? Oh man, I felt so bad, but I just couldn't help it. And then, like, he would go absolutely like ape shit when uh when I'd start laughing. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. He he never hit me. What are you gonna do? Not laugh? Yeah, he never took a swing. That's ridiculous. And and good thing for him too, because I would have power slammed him. Damn. Yeah. No. Yo, you've been you you gonna use those moves you learned from the WF? <laughs> The World Federation. The Wrestling Fucks. <laughs> wrestling Fucks, go! <laughs> but you gotta say it like that. Yeah. Wrestling Fucks. Fucks. Yeah, no. Are you kidding? My dad was in the fucking Israeli army. He's trained in Krav Maga and, like, has probably killed people. That's what he wants you to think. So, yeah. Me, on the other hand, never thrown a punch. I have... Underhanded a punch before. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty about myself that I don't see. I see it. Like when I pee in the sink. Yeah. What about it? Well, I mean, it's got to be some kind of thing with like my dad or something. Yeah, you, you and your dad like to save time. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from you. <laughs> and conserving water. I haven't peed in the sink in like 12 years. Yeah, well, I haven't peed in your sink in like 12 days. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we've both got our streaks going. I don't even know why. What? I guess it's just because like I didn't want to flush. Oh, for me it was because I didn't want to wake up my parents because I'd come home high as hell at like 3 in the morning. And I didn't... That was during the time when like... My dad was like, get a real job, man, what are you doing? And uh... And so I didn't want to wake him up at 3 a.m. because it would just give him more ammunition for like, you're turning the day into night, you know, like that kind of thing. Like, oh, you got this. Nice. <laughs> so I pee in the sink. That's that's where that makes sense, that's dude. Where that story begins and ends. Makes total sense. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. But I made sure it was the kitchen sink, so I could get as much bacteria on our food as possible. Oh, that's really sweet. It was sweet. Dude, some of the fucking lovelies are dedicated as hell. Yeah, they're amazing. Dude, my mom is dedicated as yeah, hell. Oh, dude, your mom is super she dedicated. She was so into fucking, uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, so was I. She was, she, she fucking was like- I love that game. When she came to visit me, like, we were still airing Shadow of the Colossus. oh my god. Whoa, was that wasn't good. <laughs> that wasn't good at all. Oh dear. Well, Go. We, we were airing those episodes, and she came over to visit me, mm -hmm. and and she was like, we, we like went out and did some fun stuff, and then uh, got she was home. like, I gotta get home. Yeah, and she when she got home, she was like, gotta catch up on my game grumps. Whoa, like, that's awesome. Yeah. What's up, Maureen? Marette. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Of course, I know your fucking mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what is that?! I'm still- I'm still embarrassed about getting Moret's name wrong, and now I have to deal with this?! What the fuck is it?! Well, shout out to your dad, Boyd. And your mom, Maureen. <laughs> my- my mom had, uh, speaking of my mom, she had an experience like that she was telling me about in, uh, in Spain. Um where she needed to get to the train, and she didn't speak a word of it, and she was like, El Traino? <laughs> and that's totally it. It is? <laughs> yeah, El Traino. El Traino. <laughs> El Traino? <laughs> <laughs> fucking killed me, dude. Oh, uh, dude. This guy gets the same look on his face when he moves across shoveling that my dad gets when he shovels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And then if you try to bug him, he's like, oh. Just leave me alone! Yeah, yeah. Did your- did your dad do that? Like, if you're doing something physical, like, carrying something really heavy, and then, like, 
if you just kind of like bump into a wall, they're like, WATCH IT! <laughs> <laughs> My dad really never got too mad at me. Oh. Uh, except... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second! Yeah. I blacked that out! Yeah. Shit. Damn. Except for the very, very specific time I remember when my dad was tired of shoveling and uh, we had like a really, really heavy winter in New Jersey and like mm -hmm. the, um, there was just like a- uh, Winter's coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, winter fucking came that year. <laughs> I think it was like 94, 90, 96, that was it. And there was like- It's really hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so yeah, like that, that winter, like he, um, there was just one giant snowstorm after another. So my dad just got tired of shoveling all the time, and he was like, he bought a snowblower, and it was like the, the biggest fucking deal to him. He was so excited, and uh, I managed to destroy it in what the 30 fuck, seconds. Dude? How did you do that? Well, because like... What is wrong with you? I was, I was sort of young, and like, I didn't have like the same like... I just was stupider. And <laughs> I, I didn't have the same body control that I have now and all that, so like... He was like, Dan, I'll let you use the snowblower, but uh, be careful, okay? Because it's, uh, it's, you've never used one. I was like, oh, I think I know how to use a snowblower. <laughs> like, I was so fucking, like, I was nicely done. Way to land in victory on the things that kill you. Oh, yeah, sure. No, I'm invincible after I kill people, so that's... Oh, okay. It's cool. video game rules. Video game logic! Whoa! Die on spikes, but win against guy! Don't die on spikes! That's a meme for your Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. So yeah, like, um, we, uh, so he, he, he put me in charge of the snowblower and he walks inside and like, you know, it's got a long cord that like connects inside the house or to a power source or whatever. And my first <laughs> like thing that I do is run right over the cord. So it's like, <laughs> and it sucks up the entire cord and fucking destroys the mechanism forever. Oh man, you're an idiot. Oh dude, I felt like it too. And I like, I had to like walk into the house and um, tell my dad that I just destroyed his pride and joy new thing while he was still removing his jacket from outside. <laughs> so he had to simultaneously deal with the pain of losing like, going back outside, losing this thing he liked a lot, and was looking forward to, and also the realization that his fucking son is an idiot. Well, I think he already knew that. At yeah, that he was already at peace with that. <laughs> he was like, uh, Dan, uh, don't fuck up now! <laughs> <laughs> okay, daddy! <laughs> uh, <laughs> my granddad used to tell me this story of his, his army days. Like, dude, I can't even tell you how much I wish, like, I had met you before... Uh, my grandpa died because like he was you guys would have gotten along so famously um, But uh, granny sex bangs husband Bernard uh, He used to tell me Did story. he also like poop and fart jokes. No, he was actually like very um Very highbrow with his humor, but like well, then we, how would we have gotten along? You just you would have had intelligent conversations. Oh, okay. Yeah <laughs> um but he used to tell me stories about, uh, his time in the army. <laughs> about he was, pooping and farting? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was in World War II. And apparently, like, with the army, they used to have buffets there, you know? Mm -hmm. And But you had to clean your plate. It was mandatory. Mm. So the, the sign was, take all you want, but eat all you take. And one day he just took way too much, and he had a burger left over, and he could not like, for the life of him, eat this burger. He was, like, super full. And, uh, so he put it in his pocket and tried to, like, sneak out. <laughs> and then his commanding officer was like, Schwartz, come over here. And, uh, like, he was all nervous, of course. And, but they're having a conversation. And finally, he thinks he's gotten away with it. And the guy's like, on your way, soldier. And they salute. And then, like, the commanding officer, I guess, when he was, like, on your way, soldier, he, like... Smacked my granddad on the butt like super hard and like <laughs> squashed the burger. It was the best. And then he like slowly turns towards him like. <laughs> mm. Well, no, he knew it was there. Like he was fucking with him the entire time. <laughs> but yeah, I my, my oh dude, the I my granddad like he had he had a very rough go of it towards the end. He was like in a lot of pain because of his spine and yeah. like um. He was on morphine a lot and all those things. And so, like, I really didn't see him very happy 
like for the last like year or two of his life. But whenever you talk about his like army days, you know, like that he he really you could see him mentally going back there and just being so happy and like yeah. That's that's a that's a very um. It's a very strange time to be like really reminiscent about. Well, did he go to war or was he just in the army? No, he was he was in the army. He wasn't on the front lines. I think he he was a scientist. He was the one who like uh helped uh invent the body electrode. Like so he was an inventor and I th I think he had something I think his job in the army was more on like the manufacturing side of stuff. Um uh I mean, he he was not a fighter by nature. He he detested war, but you know, Hitler, bro. You know, <laughs> you gotta fucking you gotta fight that asshole. So yeah, that guy sucks. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's dead. It's it's cool. Um, <laughs> but it's uh yeah. I, I I don't. My dad was the one who was on like front battle lines. Oh man. Yeah, in the Yom Kippur War, I think. Ugh, I can't even imagine, dude. Oh, dude, it, I mean, it, there's, it unquestionably scarred him for life, you know? Like, there's no way around it. Like, when, because my dad has a very matter-of-fact way of speaking about things, you know? Like, I've never seen him cry, you know? He's not, like, that's not, that's not his deal. But, like, you know, he'll say, he'll say stuff oh. about his war experience, and I'll just be like, Oh my fucking god, Avi, you know? Um... He was like an 18 year old kid, like 19 years old, something like that. And he's like, yeah, you're, you know, you're, you're having breakfast with like, y your best friends. And, uh, at lunchtime you're zipping them up in a body bag, you know? And I'm like, Oof. oh my fucking god. Um, but that's just, you know, the reality of life in Israel and the Middle East in like the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, seriously. It's fucking crazy. Good lord. Not that I'm making any statement on current politics or anything like that. I I don't know anything about it other than that I would certainly hope for peace um eventually because you don't want innocent people to suffer. Well, I mean, I'm just kidding. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but suffering's hilarious and cool. I'm into it. I can get down with that jam. Oh, look at you. Don't take that out of context. Damn. Aaron Hansen, 2017, said he loves human suffering and that he can get quote unquote down with that jam. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking. Ah, oh, no! Oh. Ah, shit, dude! You <laughs> fucked it! You fucked it good! Just like my mom fucked my dad. Ah, <laughs> shit! I fucking <laughs> fucked it again! <laughs> God damn it! My dad was like, fuck me, and my mom was like, I. <laughs> and it just happened. I don't fucking know. And that's how I got made. What am I, a fucking storyteller? I don't that's fucking how know. I got made. Do I look like some kind of genius fucking savant storyteller motherfucker looking like Stephen King over here writing books about horror and shit? Because Lord knows Stephen King would write the fucking love novel between my fucking horrifying parents. Let me tell you something. Get in there. I fucking did it! Yeah. I did it, just let me in! Just fucking let me in! God damn it, it's so close! It's so fucking close! Ah, oh, thank fucking Yay. god! My dad once was like, a bar is a meat market, and I was like, M-E-A-T market? They don't sell meat there, like, a long time ago. And then recently I thought about him saying that, and then I was like, oh, he meant, like, you to meet people. Oh! You could also just mean M-E-A-T. Like for boning oh, like purposes, for, for penis. Yeah, or, or or whatever meat you prefer. Sonic, what the? We're all made that? of meat. Sonic was like chilling out on that blue orb for a second, and then he was like, "Oh, sorry." Yeah, <laughs> my bad. These stars are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Get him away! He's <laughs> trying to bat him away like gnats. I told you uh, that my mom has uh, video footage of me when I was like two years old. Um, I'd be in my driveway, looking up at the moon, and trying to, like, grab it. And I'd be like, I can get it! And then I'd jump, like, half an inch off the ground. And my mom was like, <laughs> almost! <laughs> <laughs> what if you just, like, did grab it and it disappeared from the sky, and then yeah. your mom was like, What? 
what? Yeah. And you and open it, your hand and it's there. Yeah, and she realizes I'm like a demon baby and the <laughs> choir starts off like, <laughs> <laughs> like the omen. <laughs> and then like the, the rocks start to rise from the ground, you know? And you're like, and you're like, I got it, mom. I got it. Yeah, I can now speak in full sentences. <laughs> I'm two years old, but I'm like, <laughs> Mother, the blood I've, of Christ compels me. <laughs> The more power stars, blah 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 blah. Deb is my mom's name. Did I just find like a secret area? What the fuck? Whoa, ah! Hello, young friend. So, oh, dude, my mom had uh, one of her first encounters with a grump fan in like her daily Shit. life. She was doing some banking. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, apparently, like the guy behind the counter, I can't remember his name. She told me his name. It was a, it was a unique name. It was like Ozzy Mandius or something like that. Whoa. Cool. No, that's not actually correct, but oh. he had a cool name. Sorry, I can't give you a shout out, dude. But he saw her ID and she, and he was like, "Do you have a son named Danny?" <laughs> and she was immediately like, "Yay!" <laughs> really? Yeah, she got a huge kick out of it. That's nice. Yeah, it is. It's super nice. Hey, oh, babies. The good egg galaxy. Yeah, it's so good. What? What now? What now? <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna jump on his head. That's what now. Yeah, my um. Don't test me. I'm a fucking plumber. Oh, <laughs> uh, my mom. The Good Egg Galaxy reminded me. My mom, uh, is, is a teacher, uh, of young children. Yeah. And, uh, I guess there's, like, one British kid in his class named Charlie, and the mom, his mom every day, like, when she drops him off at school, uh, is like, Charlie, be a good egg! Be a good egg at school! Really? Yeah. How cute is that? That's adorable. I know, so, like, every now and then my mom will be like, uh, like, when I'm leaving for California, I'll go visit her. And, uh, as I'm leaving, she'll be like, Bye, Dan, be a good egg! And like, <laughs> no! <laughs> I won't listen to Don't you! Don't tell me what to do! Oh, I'm almost 50! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything! Ugh. How long have you been around? Oh, ugh. I've been around the block a couple times. Yeah, once or twice. I came back, obviously. My friends <laughs> to live ahead. in your basement some more. <laughs> Oh god. Ooh. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Call mom. Call mom. <laughs> Don't tell her what happened. <laughs> tell her I fell. Tell her I fell. <laughs> Don't tell her we're in Bacoblin territory. Please, please. <laughs> oh my god. Come on! <laughs> There's something so funny about that. Oh dude. shit, I gotta start it all over again? Oh no, you didn't save it? No, I just think that's just how it works. You silly goose. I went to visit my parents, um, for the past few days. Yeah. And, uh, they're- they're great, everything's cool. But my mom- <laughs> My mom had an amazing moment where she was like, uh, she was telling me that my dad is the one man that can turn lemonade into lemons. <laughs> like. What? <laughs> like, he can make, like, a good situation bad, just be because he <laughs> has, like, a negative attitude sometimes. Uh -huh. So, she was like, you're the only man I know who can actually take delicious lemonade and turn it into lemons. And my dad's response was, sugar is bad for you. <laughs> 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 he is the fucking best. Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> So let's let's take that let's take that approach. Okay, turn lemonade into lemons. Yep. You, you know you know what's sweet though. Like my mom, when, when I was a pot smoker, my mom was very concerned, obviously, because you know, like you don't want your kids smoking weed because you make dumb decisions when you smoke weed. But whatever. For for Rizzle. For Rizzle. And uh, and I remember she found like. I, I was always very careful uh, about keeping very small amounts at one time because, like, I was already up there. Yeah, because the more you have on you, the more illegal it is, obviously. So I would, I had like, like maybe, um, like a tiny, tiny, like one, enough for like one hit in like a tiny little bag uh -huh. in my room, and she found it, and she was just like, Dan. Is is that an ounce? <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, Debbie, they're dried leaves. <laughs> like, in order to have an ounce, it would have to. Oh, it was a, it was just adorable. It would have to be a, like a brick. 
<laughs> is that an ounce? Well, because I guess she is, saw... Is it like a term? Well, yeah, because uh, an ounce, I guess she read somewhere, that's the point at which it like becomes like a more a more serious offense in oh, the eyes I of the see. law. Yeah, it's just very sweet. And I was like, I should stop doing this soon. <laughs> like, I, I should stop with the drugging. Yeah, I mean, I like it, but like, if it's making my mom sad, then like... At least while I'm living under her roof, I should not do it. Yeah. So how's the how's the drugs doing now? Haven't smoked in two years, three years. Oh, I was just doing a joke. But oh, sorry. You decided to take it to a serious place. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you were just asking me. <laughs> no, because you're not under your mom's roof anymore. Oh, right. So. Oh, I get it. Because yeah. I was still living with my parents. <laughs> uh, it hits close to home, man. I lived with my parents a lot longer than I should have. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. me too, probably. I mean, they were they were supporting me when. Uh, Is there a thing up here? When I was just doing music. That, well, that's cool. It was super cool. Um, I got that MTV gig with my parents. I was living with my parents, and they're like, Oh my god, he's famous now. And I'm like, I get paid like $200. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like worse than minimum wage. It's true. It's true. I mean, I know what you mean. Like... Shit, hold on. No, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, all right. <laughs> it was so, such a genuine, like, shit, fucking hold on. Well, I just, I heard him coming at me, and I didn't want him to fuck me up. Oh, long. gotcha. <laughs> That was, that was like when my dad like took a wrong turn while while he's driving the car, and like I it's like Sh hold on hold on Dan. <laughs> uh, okay, cool, I got this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, there's like. It's okay. I know my my mom was the one that was always easy to tell when she was annoyed at things that were happening in the car because she'd be like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> And my mom is not like she is one of the nicest human beings in the world. So like. If she gets mad like that, you know something has gone horribly awry. That's such a universal, like, I'm annoyed and Shut I need a lot of time yeah. to just, to myself. Well, I mean, it, you, you can tell by, like, the hard T, like, the t like, you're trying to get the anger out by, like, you know, making those sounds. That's why fuck is such a great curse word. It's like, fuck. It's got, like, a bunch of different, like, oh, yeah, I'm making that sound kind of sounds. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Cool. And I got a fucking item. It's twister! Is that good? Fuck yeah! Okay. Fuck yeah, it's good! It's a fucking <laughs> twister, dude! <laughs> you bet your sweet tits it's good! God damn it! I'm jizzing all over my dad! What? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from? Hey, welcome back. Hi. To Game Grump. You wanna hear about a cute text I just got from my mom? No. Well then. Maybe I'll just be super passive aggressive and won't say anything this episode. Oh shit, no, tell me. I was hoping that you would be like, Oh, so this thing my mom sent me. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I would have normally done for sure. <laughs> um, uh, I was in, uh, Little Tokyo, my fucking favorite place to be. And, uh, I saw, um, this cute Rilakkuma mug. For anyone who doesn't know, you probably- you might have seen him. Rilakkuma's that cute little Japanese bear character, cartoon character with the little- with the little face. He's got a little face on yeah? him. Yeah? Yeah, you can look him up. Damn. But, uh, the, I saw a mug there. It, it was a Rilakkuma mug, and it was just like, he's sitting under a tree, and like, he- he like, there's another character. And I was like, my mom would fuck it. Oops. Oops. My mom would love this, because like, she- she used to love like Peter Rabbit and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like little things like that. And so, um, I, I, I bought it and I sent it to her and I just got the text. Rilakkuma met Koguma-chan in the honey forest. My new favorite mug. Arigato, Daniel-san. Most honored. <laughs> wow. How cute is my mom? <laughs> Arigato, daniel <-san. laughs> It's so adorable. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Rilakkuma met Koguma-chan in the honey forest! <laughs> Alright, sorry. I think I've told you about that, right? Is that the lore? It's, uh... It's what it says on the mug I got from my mom. Oh. Oh, no. It sounds really sweet. Yeah, she repeats it to me all the time. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, who's Koguma-chan? I don't know, but that's who Rilakku- Who's Koguma-chan? He's the one that Rilakkuma met in the honey forest. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, you uncultured fuck. Yeah, my god. Oh, Randall Stevenson. If you could be one other name, what would it be? 
Uh, I always liked Liam. Liam? Liam, I thought that was a cool name. That was what my mom was gonna name me, but my dad didn't, uh, wasn't into it. Uh, so, that turned into Lee. Oh. Which is my first name. Really? Yeah. Huh. It is a cool name, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, the guy from Oasis who has it is a cock, but he, he's a pretty talented dude. <laughs> he's a pretty talented cock. You could. But a cock. So, before this uh, started, uh, before this episode started, uh -huh. you were like, Hey man, have you ever barfed on a family member? Oh yeah. Like, As a matter of fact, I haven't. Have you? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> I barfed on my mom. So why don't you share that tale while as we ride? <laughs> it's not a tale. It's just, it's the con. It, it's just saying it is funny. It and is funny. And then when it's like, there's a story, it's like, I don't know, I was barfing. And then my mom was like, here, barf into my hand so it doesn't get all over oh, the floor. Oh, that's really, <laughs> wait, that's weird. But that's sweet, too. Well, she was like rushing me to the toilet so I could barf into the toilet. Here, barf into my hand. But she <laughs> was like, no, and trying to blow. Well, she wasn't like, here, son, this is where you should barf. You're going, no, you're going to fall off the cliff. Oh, my God. Go left. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't like, here. In my noble hand, she was just like, <laughs> oh god, and like, <laughs> trying to catch it. My dad would have been the exact opposite. He would have just, like, held me by the collar, like, at a full arm extension and just been like, go ahead, as long as you don't barf on my tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> barf all over the place. I love it. Why do I have my bow? Okay, there we go. That's what my dad always told me, is that you do a job that you like doing, and then you'll never work a day in your life. SHUT UP! That's what my dad always told me. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to think about it like, every now and then. like, STOP PLAYING THAT MUSIC SO LOUD, YOU <laughs> INSUFFERABLE PRICK! <laughs> you ins WHY DID I BIRTH YOU?! My dad has never used the word insufferable. <laughs> Four syllable words are not his favorite thing. Mm. Yeah. 65 years in the future, I will be playing video games on a television show called Game Grumps. It, CBS. It's Tune true. In Wednesdays. Like your mom, uh, my mom was like, you really did get like the dream job that you wanted when you were a kid. And I was like, this wasn't a job when I was a kid. Yeah. These are just amazing times that we're living in. <laughs> That's true, right? Yeah. That's true. Everybody's like, oh man, we're in the worst economic place we've ever been in. And it's like, all right, well. I I play video games and then I and then I go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very. And then when I get home, oh shit, I got positive. We're it. very fortunate. Not to sound like dicks about it, we're very blessed. Blessed. Yeah. A chew. A chew. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking awesome. Oops, I I messed up. Oh shit, I might be falling. Oops, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that looks bad. I fucked up. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> Morette calls from like Florida and she's like, oh, Aaron, I my like the, my telepathic disappointment receptors <laughs> are going off the charts right now. Are you blowing it at a yeah. video game? Do 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 running up the leg. Do 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 <laughs> falling off the leg. Do 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 <laughs> mother's not proud. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 sorry if you're watching this mom. Do yeah. do 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 I'm embarrassed. This isn't what it looks like. Do do do. <laughs> do 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 got a new son. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh shit. That would make me sad. Do 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 please don't oh, make shit. me sad. Florida. <laughs> you I'm crazy. So Florida. You're so crazy, Florida. Yeah, we say we say car. You still say car? No, that's Boston. Fuck uh, me. What do you what are some other things that you say? Do you say clicker? Clicker? For a remote? Oh yeah, sure. Uh actually I have my own made-up word that my dad created called Chick Chuck. <laughs> a chick Chuck? Don, uh, hand me the Chick Chuck because the- Whoa! I'm still in Big Town, I forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we had, like, one of those really, like, old-school, uh, dang it. Oh. Nice one. Got it! Prick. Uh, yeah. We had one of those old clickers when I was a kid that would go Chick Chuck! So my dad was like, it's the Chick Chuck! <laughs> That's cute. My dad's adorable. Yeah. Except when he smacks you. Oh, God. Father, no! <laughs> Please don't smack me. I, I don't believe I deserve it. You should have given me the chick chuck faster. <laughs> <laughs> it was one second too late. Oh, ah. man. Child abuse is hilarious. Dude, it really makes me gag. <laughs> In laughter. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Have you ever- have you ever just like mumbled into the voice recognition shit and see what comes out? Yeah. 
It's just like, you, you just treat it like a human. Because mm -hmm. you're supposed to be like, who was the guy from the who? Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, uh, who was... Oh, shit. My dad is the best with, with Siri. Siri! Uh, I'm looking for the... Uh, and then it's like, bing! Out of time. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> please, learn, please put me down. Learn to speak English. <laughs> learn to speak English. <laughs> Damn, Siri. You got tood. <laughs> Siri, you got sass. Sassy Siri, that's what they should call you. <laughs> so here's my punch story. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go uh, ahead my go sister ahead. used to hit me all the time when I was a kid. Is that it? Yeah. No, well, not all the time, but she took a couple swings. And, like, uh, I'd never hit her back. And, it, and, and like, as we got older, it hurt, you know? Uh -huh. I was like, fuck, I gotta do something about this. So, like, she hit me a couple times, and then I just, like, called in my dad, and I was like, Avi, Dennis hitting me! And uh, he was like, so hit her back! And I, I was like, all right. And I just <laughs> fucking reeled back and, like, punched her in the center of her back, like, super hard. Oh. And she started crying, and my dad was like, not now! <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, not now? I, I, like, I guess when? He, I guess he meant, like, defend yourself if she attacks you, but, oh. like, don't just take a random swing at her. <laughs> and, uh, I felt super bad because she was crying and I'd, I'd never hit anyone again. Aww. Yeah. That's terrible. That's amazing because that's, like, 20 years ago already. More. 25 years ago. And I still remember, like, how bad I felt. Oh, sure. That shit scars. Yeah. Like, making your sister cry, you're like, oh. That sucks. Yeah, I agree. I would never hit my sister. You don't have one. Well, then that settles it. Well, then it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, so all I was going to say about my dad was that Hebrew is his first language, and yeah. you read that language uh, right to left. So oh. he had difficulty reading things in English at first because he always his first instinct was to go uh, right to left. Interesting. It, is, isn't it, though? No, it? not as much as I previously thought. <laughs> yeah, now, now that you I'm know what? I'm over it. it. I'm over it. <laughs> Get in the barrel with us, Rhino. Get in the barrel. Oh, this is fun. Funny story about this game. Okay. My dad found it in the middle of an intersection in Florida. <laughs> what? <laughs> On the ground. What? Yeah. And it, and it has like rattlies inside of it. Are, are you fucking serious? Yeah. It's it, like when you, when you pick it up and shake it, it's like... <laughs> yeah, because you found it on the street. Yeah, it's a fucking street game, and it totally works. <laughs> I used to play it all the time. All right, so I'm. Wow, going... you know what you just reminded me of that I haven't thought of in a long time. What? My dad once risked his life to get me a giant's hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I had this giant. Uh, Barry, I'll try to find you a picture of of me at whatever age in that giant's hat. I had to be like ten years old, but like, uh, I had this I had this hat that I fucking loved so much. And, uh, I stuck my head stupidly out the window while we were driving on the interstate. And, of course, the hat flies off. And I'm immediately like, Ah, my one thing in this world that I loved! So I start crying. And my dad pulled the car over and got out and ran into the middle of the fucking interstate with cars going, like, 90 miles an hour all around him to get my hat for me. Man, what a badass. What a fucking badass dude. What a dadass. I <laughs> nice. Because he's a dad. Oh, I, lo I love that guy. <laughs> oh, God. Avi the best. Um, and he was like, uh, maybe the traffic could stop, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh. Well... There was, was always an inside joke with my dad. Was that? Just was, beating like, each other? No, it was like, uh, whenever something was like red, it's like, look, that car's red! He was like, your butt's gonna be red in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then he would hit me. Would he? <laughs> no! Oh, alright. Dad, dad would never hit me. Yeah, I never got hit by my dad either. That was the coolest. It's... I... It's, uh... It's weird, like, I have plenty of friends whose parents just, like, wailed on them. Yeah. But, uh... They're all my weird friends, so maybe it's not <laughs> such a good idea. Yeah, probably not. Oh, uh, I remember when I killed my first animal. Wait, hold on, I need to buy some po- wait, hold on, what? I'm sorry. You're what did you just say about animal on, killing? Go on, it's not important. You, you were gonna- you were saying? I can't move on from that, dude. I have never killed an animal. You need to chill out with that. In fact, to- to show you what an amazing pussy I've been my entire life. Okay. Um... How I, many dicks? 
whoa. <laughs> there was a fly. There was like a little fruit fly once when I was a kid. And like, it was kind of like on my like desk uh -huh. and then it flew onto the floor. And I was just like on the floor looking at it. And I was like, hello, little fruit fly. And then my dad came in and he was like, hi, Don. And he like stepped on it and killed it accidentally. Did you and cry? And I cried. Aww. I cried like fucking crazy Aww. over a fruit fly. <laughs> hi, Don. <laughs> hello. And I'm like, murderer. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the degree to which I could not deal with animals getting hurt. Yeah, I had a little roach in my uh, in my bathroom mm. named um, Smokey. His name was Charles. Ch uh, uh, roaches are cuter if you name them. Like I had one in my apartment in Philly, and it was huge. And I like we just came to an understanding that I wasn't gonna deal with it. And it was just gonna live on the wall. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it wasn't in my apartment, it was like outside the door in the hallway. And I, I named it Kevin. And, I, and after I named it Kevin, like, we got along a lot better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was like, I can't that's do- a, What the fuck, man? God damn it. You can't kill my nerd, dude. He did. No, like, I got um, shamed into never stealing anything, like, at like four years old. Cause um, my, I was in an airport and I wanted to buy this like, Grape flavored chapstick. Yeah, so uh, there was just this chapstick in an airport that I totally wanted and my mom was like No, we're not getting that for whatever reason and I was like I so I just stole it and then like Pretended to find it like underneath the chair like later at a different airport. I was like wow Here's that thing. I wanted that's weird and my mom was just like you suck <laughs> <laughs> She did I mean she was cool about it, but she she just like was very unimpressed, like in the way parents get when they know they want, like, when they want you to know that they're unhappy with you. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but you know you fucked up. And I never stole anything <laughs> after that. Wow. Yeah, my Oh, just, just the guilt my, alone made oh, you- Oh, dude, Jewish guilt. Fucking, that'll squash a career in criminality faster <laughs> than you could possibly imagine. Jewish guilt. Oh. Powerful. <laughs> well, would she just like, she just give you the eye for the rest of the day She's or like, something? Well, okay, I hope you enjoy that chapstick. I mean, you earned it. Like, oh, <laughs> God! You earned it. It's so bad. Oh, uh, that's funny. It's funny how effective that is, too, because, like, uh, I could, I, you would think that there would be some scenarios where that would backfire, and it's like, yeah, I did earn it. <laughs> no, like, when, when your parents are mad at you, you can at least be mad back. But when your parents are disappointed in you, it, oh, like, it yeah. cuts so much deeper. Yeah. I think that's what I was always afraid of as a kid, just getting, being disappointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when I have kids, dude, I'm gonna be disappointed in them 24-7. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee. Yeah, just every day they're like, Look at what I did, Dad! I put a lot of time and effort and love into it! <sighs> Put it on the fridge, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck! But yeah, I knew a lot of kids' parents that were like that, and then they ended up becoming like that too. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, how do you not? How do you not know? It's like you, it's your job to teach me that. Yeah, yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I came out of vagina. That that's <laughs> that's the thing my my parents always taught me. They were like, yeah, ask questions, because then you'll know stuff. Exactly. I don't know if they phrased it quite that brilliantly. <laughs> There's no stupid questions, just the stupid people that ask them. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, father. Oh. Uh, alright. That, that was a Am gag I... my dad really liked. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Not directed at me, ever. <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> he, just, he just had that kind of dad humor about him. Oh, yeah, L Lloyd's a funny dude. He must have been a great dad growing up. Oh man, he was the best. He gave me hugs every night. Aww. Yeah. He's a, he's a good, good pops. Yeah. Now I give you hugs every night, whether you want them or not. He told me, uh... You can call me daddy now. He, he told me, uh, you find, a, you find a job where you can make a living doing something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. That, yeah. That is true. That is true. And it, and it, and it held true for us for years until we played, yeah. uh, Zelda's Adventure. Damn it! Fucking damn it! Wow. That sequence is so stupid! <laughs> I put all this effort into surviving up to that point, and then it's just like, Dah, you didn't hit A. It's like, fuck you! Someone's working a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true, because I'm sitting here with my friend, and it's fun. <laughs> it's 
Uh, oh, the, you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need to tell a little story, though. Oh, okay. Muppet Babies was my favorite show growing up, but my mom told me that it was too inappropriate for children. I said, why is that? And she said, because Kermit the Frog was convicted of several murder felonies <laughs> in this tri-state Chicago area. And I was like, Tri-state Chicago Aww. area isn't a thing. All right, great. Good good job, Aaron. And then I gave my mom a kiss goodnight. The end. Oh, thank God that thing is fucking dead. You know, I don't get random bonuses as much anymore. Well, maybe you should see a doctor about it. It's a thing I never enjoyed. Dude, nothing's worse! Being in class, having a boner, and then having to, like, go up. That's it's such a cliche that's true. The, the boner? Yeah. One time I tried to jerk it in class. <laughs> really? Oh, that's awesome. Really? I think I might have too. This way. <laughs> I love your reaction to that. No, that's 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 what that's why you're my friend. No judgment. You think that's awesome? Yeah. No, uh, why, I. Why wouldn't that be the coolest thing? I was just bored, so I, like it was you like through my like. <laughs> it's super ballsy. No pun intended. I but. got to the e I got to like towards the end. And I think oh my god, did you finish? No, this was middle school. Oh my god, it would've been so amazing if you fucking finished the class. <laughs> you were just, just like, and, and then like right then, fucking the teacher was like, and what do you think, John? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you ever had? I didn't finish, by the way. Okay. I, I realized it was weird, and people were probably looking at me. <laughs> um, but dude, you know what's funny? Have you ever had a fucking fear gasm? No. It's the worst sensation possible. It's when you orgasm right when, like, your dad walks in or something, and you're like, hey! Oh, yes! <laughs> you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I have had that. It's the worst You hear feeling. somebody walking down the, yeah. the fucking hallway, like, right yeah. when, you're, when you're finishing. My dad walked in on me jerking it once. Right when you're mom. ejaculating. My dad once, my mom once. Those were the only two slip-ups I ever had. I convinced my mom that I was looking at, like, a man. I don't know how that, how my brain thought that was, like, the better thing. <laughs> Probably because it was like, oh, you would never, like, it's such a like, child naive naivety, it's like, I, I would never look at a man and have a, a, an excitement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. And then my dad, <laughs> I just remember he tried to play it off like he was still right about walking out of me jerking it. He kept being like, what are, what are you doing? And I was like, do nothing! And he's like, well, you should be going to bed now! And I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, just bye! <laughs> like, he totally knew, but he was just trying to play it off. Oh. Just be going to bed! <laughs> I, what other way can you respond, really, than what? you should be going to bed? <laughs> like, jacking off in the fucking bathroom or something, and somebody, like, walks in, like, oh, you should be going to bed, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why fucking. Why do parents think it's cool to just fucking walk into a room? It's like. I get it. Yeah, kid. ever heard of knocking? I mean, it's like. Jesus, give me a little fucking. I'm not gonna deny you access, just let me fucking make sure my wiener's not out. Yeah. Dick. My parents used to do that all the fucking time. Old house is freaking the fuck out. Like, the last one I've been in, really, was my grandma. Like, my. She, she's not actually my grandma, but. It's a long story. It's a long story. It goes Whoa, deep. dude. <laughs> I knew you. What the yeah. fuck? I realized exactly. My what grandma. Said. Well, she's not actually my grandma. It's a long story. Uh. <laughs> it's 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 not as it's. I, I think that story is probably more interesting than the story you were gonna it, tell. It, it's it's actually a little tragic. Okay. I don't know if I want to. I don't really want to. Okay, that's fine. Go on with your original, less interesting story, please. <laughs> She, I'm dying to she's hear. She's dead now. I'm dying to hear about your not grandma, but grandma's house of uninteresting things. Sometimes I forget about her. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. And then when I remember, I regret it immediately. No, when I, when I think about her, it's weird. She's not my grandma, but I considered her my grandma. Nonetheless. Mm -hmm. She has a gross house? She has- the, she's dead now, but she had a gross house. Well, it's still there, it's well, just, no, she's not in it. It was- well, I think it might be gone now. I think it, it might like have demolished torn it. down? I think it might have been. Oh my god. And it was like, really old, and like, the fucking- it had a dining room? That had like, spider webs on the plates and shit? Whoa. And, and I was like, I'm literally in a haunted house. Her house is like, haunted house level. It was like- it looked like the haunted mansion a bit, yeah, a little bit. I don't know how anyone can live there. She had a dog named Lobo. 
It's dead too. The comic book character? Everything about her is dead. <laughs> Including your love for her. <laughs> I never- I just- I- <laughs> The only thing I remember about her is every time I would say anything, she'd just be like, Oh, that's wonderful! Oh, that's nice. She was a nice old lady. She'd give me candy apples. Did you eat them? Or did yes, you I fucking ate them. them. I still have them in my at basement somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I still have them in my basement. I hope they're not too old. I was planning on just. Uh, I mean, I was gonna maybe, eventually. Maybe having a day. It was funny. <laughs> my dad is Middle Eastern, right? Yeah. It means you are. Yes. Well, he's actually from Iran. Oh, okay. I believe he was born in Tehran. <laughs> okay. So, every time I bring up Aladdin or something, he's gotta say it in the fucking, like, right accent. So, like, oh, Aladdin! And I'm like, Dad, don't fucking call him Aladdin. Nobody calls him Aladdin. What are you fucking doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking everything up, Aladdin. dude! That's like when, when a fucking. A t oh, this is a Brian Regan joke. I don't want to. But it's totally like a real Let's thing that it. I had a thought before. When fucking Italian people, like when I order Italian food, yeah, I'm just like ah linguini. <laughs> uh, I want that prosciutto. It's like fuck. What do you mean? You mean prosciutto? Uh, well, I mean, okay. I just find like you know when you hear when you hear a fucking like news reporter like today here at the General Mills community, Miss Barbara Sanchez. You're like fucking stop. <laughs> if you if you say something in the correct accent. Whoa. While talking in normally, yeah. you're gonna sound like a fucking asshole. That's always bothered me. Ethiopia. My mom does that too. She's 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 got like a she's what is she like Hungarian Yugoslavian or some shit. That guy pulled us. Dude, you were already did. Is that guy did that guy commit suicide in his former life? And he's like, it didn't work the first time. <laughs> <laughs> to fucking finish the job, but he was like, he was like, I finally did it. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. I figured it out. Aren't you proud of me? I'm not. Daddy, funny. are you watching? <laughs> Please tell me you love me. Daddy is good, right? I know you might not understand the show because you're Maybe. from the '70s. All you understand is Boston and Journey songs. <laughs> I like Journey. <laughs> I love Journey. <laughs> Journey, like, whenever I listen to fucking Journey, I'm just like, Every day! Yeah, yeah. That's not even what they sound like. Or he. Or Steve, the, Perry. Yeah, Steve Perry. When the lights go down in the city, I can't fucking do Journey. And the go. sun shines all the way. <laughs> How I wanna be there in my city. Whoa, I just like rode that block. You <laughs> did. <laughs> rode <a> block. <laughs> Interesting. I've always been like, let's play Mega Man X. And you're like, nah. It's stuck in there. And I'm like, you wouldn't you like it? It's your favorite game. And you're like, well, I'd rather play Dick Suck Land. <laughs> well, we had a weird moment like when when the Dick, Mr. Dick Suck uh, was, was named your dad's name. And then he said, wait, what? And then he, and then he said, John. Let me tell you how to get to the Chipotle. <laughs> That's the only joke you- You gotta get new material for my dad, man. You gotta George Carlin my dad material. It's coming up on a year. But I don't- That's the only experience I have with him. Did you tell- Have we told everyone about why you ever- Did that, you ever mention this? Maybe? I went to your house to get a laptop and- and like I, I mostly hung out with your mom. Yeah, but and then, I wasn't even there. The one time Aaron has been to my like childhood home. My I wasn't there. Yeah, because I had to pick something up for him, and then and it, and and, and it, like I mostly hung out with your mom, but then your dad showed up like right at the end and was like, "Are you hungry?" And I was like, "Uh, I, no." And he was like, "Oh, well, there's a pole down the street. Uh, let me tell you how to get there." And I was like, "I have GPS." And he's like, "No, it's easy. Just go down." And I was like, "All right, I have DG GPS." <laughs> it's funny. It, it, my I think my parents are quite in love with food or something. I'm not really sure. They're, they're, they're both, I don't know if it's part of their culture, because they're both from out of the country. So, they're just like, you hungry? Sit down, have a meal! And I'm like, dude, I mean, I got it. I got somewhere to be. <laughs> yeah, like, I, You're like already eating a chicken wing. I think it's part you of- You hungry? Sit down, like- I think it's just part of their country to like, like dinner is like a big thing. Is it? I think, yeah. In, in, At in, least in Iran, in I don't know. In Persia? Yeah. <laughs> I like to touch me. Mom! Stop- tell your mom to stop calling you. Are you gonna answer it? Mom! Hello? You're on my show! Stop calling me on my show! 
I'm sorry, I forgot it was Monday. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just making a joke, that's all. I well, not really, you are actually on our show. Uh, no, you you are on our show. Say hello to the world. Say hello, everyone. Okay, can Listen, I call you back? I just, heard, I just was calling. Seriously, we're doing the show? Yeah, <laughs> what's up? Tell me what's on your mind. Uh, uh, I was just calling to tell you that Dad survived his uh, operation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Should I? Yeah, we did, but I was I'm oh, glad to hear that, at least. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear. You think I should have been there for that shit? I didn't understand the word you said. I said I'm very glad to hear that. I probably should have been there in the emergency room. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call you back. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna say don't call him because um, he's, he's passed out. He's out of it. Okay, I won't. So, like, if you want to call him, call him, like, in tonight or something. <laughs> okay, you got it. Uh, okay. You realize you're actually on the show, right? What? You realize you're actually on the show, right? Oh, my God, I'm hanging up. Okay, oh, bye. bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what a call to get on the show. I just wanted to call to let you know that your father survived his life-threatening operation. Oh, thanks! Hey, I gotta go. I'm making a show. <laughs> to clarify, my dad did not have, like, an emergency operation. She was just talking about, like, a dentist, like, a dentist operation. <laughs> it was just... Oh, my God. I think this is officially one of my favorite... Moments on anything I've ever done. Oh boy, I got a kick out of that. All right, so that was my mom, ladies and gentlemen. She's never called while we're doing the show ever. No, that's weird.